solve uh, MCQs. Now these are some assertion reason based questions and the format of uh, this will be that there are two statements one is assertion another is reason and the options will ask you um, whether both the statements are correct so in case both the statements are correct you have to find out whether the reason is the correct explanation for the assertion or both the statements are true but then the reason is not exactly explaining why the assertion is true otherwise either one of the statements can be true and the other one will be false something like that okay so um, there are some questions later on where the options are little different for example in these questions um, for example question 43 both assertion reason are true but there are also previous options where it's true and then either reasoning reason is a, a correctly explaining the assertion or it is not correctly explaining the assertion so we will consider that the starting few questions these questions these are the options available to us for assertion reason okay question 40 is about um, uh, statistics so we have something with model class and something with median class for the frequency distribution table okay so difference in class mark of model class and median class in the table is zero we have to find out whether it's true or not so model class is simple to identify whichever class interval has the maximum frequency is the model class maximum frequency is 6 model class is 50 to 60 and the class mark is the average of upper limit and lower limit so class mark of model class is 55 that's the average of 50 and 60 then how do I find the median class I look at the frequencies 1 3 2 6 4 then I also look at cumulative frequency for class interval 20 to 30 cumulative frequency is same as frequency 1 then for the next one it is 1 plus 3 4 next it is 4 plus 2 6 then 6 plus 6 12 and 12 plus 4 16 so there are total 16 uh, uh, that's the sum of frequencies now median will be the middlemost data arranged in ascending order so this uh, the class intervals are already in ascending order and there are 16 numbers so the middlemost is the eighth number so where in which class interval will I find the eighth uh, number so if I look at till uh, CF value 6 so till 40 to 50 I have the sixth data sixth number then the number after that the seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh and up to the twelfth number is in the class interval 50 to 60 so the middlemost which is the eighth number will be located in 50 to 60 class interval so that is my median class and the class mark of that interval is again 55 so the difference between the class marks of model class and median class 55 minus 55 is actually zero so assertion is true assertion is definitely true but let's look at the reason statement whether reason is uh, true or not they're saying reason something like model class and median class are always the same for a given frequency distribution in this frequency distribution they happened to be the same but it's not necessary like there is no reason why they have to be the same for a distribution they can be same or they can be different so reason is actually a false statement so the correct option for this question will be option number c that a is true but r is false next question is assertion for a collection of 11 arrayed data median is the middle number arrayed data means data raw data arranged in ascending or descending order so this is true that whenever i have data arranged in ascending descending order the median is the middlemost number so assertion i will say is a true statement okay then reason is for the data 5 9 7 13 10 11 10 the median is 13 
I have to find out whether this is true or not. So again, let me convert this to array data. I will ar arrange it in ascending order. So smallest is anyway 5, then 7, then 9, 10, 10, 11 and 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 numbers which is odd. So then 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 by 2 is 4. So first, second, third and fourth. Fourth term is 10. So 10 is my median. But according to the statement, median they are saying is 13, which is false. So here again, option C is true. Option C is correct, where assertion is true, but reason is false. Moving ahead to the next one. Um, it's from shares and dividends. So Ankit has the option of investing in two companies and uh, assertion is that investment in company A is better than company B. Reason is rate of income of company A is better than company B. Rate of income is same as rate of return. Okay, so if I look at company A, I have 7% rate of dividend, 100 rupees nominal value, 120 market value. So I can calculate the rate of return with the uh, formula that I know, uh, which is rate of uh, rate of dividend into nominal value is equal to rate of return into market value. So if I calculate like that, uh, let's say that rate of return for company A is X. So then I will have to look at 7 into 100 is equal to x into 120 so x will be equal to 700 by 120 if i look at it approximately it will be 5 point something okay then in company b i have 8 percent thousand rupees shares at 1620 so rate of dividend 8 nominal value thousand that is equal to let's say rate of return is y into market value 1620 so y is equal to 8 into 1000 by 1620 this is 1 this is 21 so 100 by 21 is going to be 4 point something percent so if i compare the rate of return company a will have a higher rate of return 5 point something company b has only 4 point something so reason statement is true rate of return in company A is better, better than company B and because of this I can claim that investment in company A is better than company B. So here both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. So option A should be true. Then looking at the next question. Okay. So here again we are assuming um the options that i have told before um, the last option let's call it a is false and r is true only then it will make sense okay so the statements given here are something to do with polynomial this polynomial is of degree three so is it true um, whenever we are looking at degree of a polynomial i will look at the exponent in the variable the highest exponent in the variable variable is x highest exponent is 3 so it has degree 3 assertion is true no problem then reason is that x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial if i want to test using factor theorem x plus 2 is 0 when x equal to minus 2 x equal to minus 2 if i substitute in the cubic polynomial i will get minus 2 cube plus 2 into minus 2 square minus 2 into minus 2 minus 2 which is minus 8 plus 8 plus um, okay so this is minus of minus 2 which is plus 2 minus 2 so i'm getting 0 
so according to factor theorem x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial that is true but the thing is that uh, x plus 2 is a factor of the polynomial it's not really explaining why the polynomial has degree 3 so here the answer should be option b that both assertion and reason are correct but reason is not the correct explanation for the assertion so i feel for question 43 option b should be true okay then question 44 statements are assertion is that point minus 2 comma 8 is invariant under reflection in the line x equal to minus 2 reason is that if a point has x coordinate 0 it is invariant under reflection in both the axis now assertion statement is true because if I look at the point minus 2 comma 8 it is a point on the line x equal to minus 2 because here the points x coordinate is minus 2 it will definitely be a point on the line x equal to minus 2 if you wanted to think about it roughly minus 2 comma 8 will be somewhere uh, minus 2 comma 8 somewhere here let's say and x equal to minus 2 will be a line parallel to the y-axis and uh, two units to the left of the origin so the point is lying on the line and when you're reflecting it the image is the same point so it is invariant assertion is true now reason is that if a point has x coordinate 0 so x coordinate 0 means any point on the y-axis if i choose any point on the y-axis x coordinate will be 0 and y coordinate can be anything now is it invariant on the reflection in both axes no it's not true it's only going to be ref uh, invariant under reflection in y-axis but not necessarily x-axis so reason is false so the correct option is that option c a is true r is false next question uh, this is a dice they have given the figure like this and they are uh, talking about it but it again has numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it's just a normal dice and the question is about the ratio of probability of getting composite number to prime number so we just need the count uh, composite numbers in this situation are um, only 4 and 6 and the prime numbers are 2 3 5 1 is neither prime nor composite but my total numbers are 6 so the number of possible outcomes is 6 so composite numbers probability is going to be uh, 2 out of 6 which is 1 out of 3 and for prime number we have 3 out of total 6 possibilities so probabilities 1 is to 2 so then the ratio of probabilities is 1 by 3 is to 1 by 2 if I look at the LCM of the denominators 3 and 2 it is 6 so if I multiply with 6 6 by 3 is to 6 by 2 which is same as 2 is to 3 so the answer is option A 2 is to 3 moving ahead next question we have product of matrix A and matrix M giving A into M equal to B where matrix B is this then the order of matrix M is what okay so order of matrix A is 2 by 2 and order of matrix M we don't know but the result of the product is matrix B which has two rows and one column so the result has order 2 by 1 so if I assume matrix M had order X by Y then because the product is possible number of columns of A must match number of rows of M so number of rows of M is actually 2 and the resulting matrix has number of columns 1 which is coming from the number of columns of matrix M so matrix M has to have order 2 by 1 which is option B next question is that a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 are 
real numbers such that the difference a1 minus b1 is equal to a2 minus b2 equal to a3 minus b3 all are equal then this a1 minus b1 a2 minus b2 a3 minus b3 this forms what progression so it can be either arithmetic or geometric with some common difference and common ratio okay now it's given that these differences are all equal so i have numbers which are equal forming some progression so numbers which are equal it's like x x x and so on it's a progression generally if you think about it it's it can be an ap an arithmetic progression where common difference is zero or i can also think of it as a geometric progression where common ratio is one but i will still go with arithmetic progression with common difference zero not geometric progression with common ratio one because a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 are real numbers they can be any numbers what if a1 and b1 are actually the same number then a1 minus b1 the difference will be zero so i will have a progression zero 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 now this i cannot say is a geometric progression because the ratio zero by zero is not defined so therefore i can say it's an arithmetic progression where common difference is zero so option d has to be correct question 48 is about locus of a moving point is what if it moves such that it keeps a fixed distance from a fixed point so if i have a fixed point let's say o and a fixed distance let's say 5 cm and if i trace the path of any such point with these conditions then it will become a full circle with center as the fixed point and radius as the fixed distance so correct answer is it's a circle then the last question is about point of concurrence of angle bisectors of a triangle is called what so if i have a triangle and if i look at the angle bisectors so they will meet at some point so point of intersection is known as concurrence so this point will be known as what hmm. according to locus theorem the locus of points equidistant from intersecting lines is the bisector of the angle between them so if i had a triangle abc and if i look at the locus of the uh, points equidistant from the sides ab bc and ac they will be uh, all on the bisectors of the angles abc so if i look at this point as a center i will be able to draw the in circle the in circle where the sides are the sides of the triangles are tangents to the circle so this point will be equidistant from all the sides of the triangle so this center will be my in center which is option b